let's say a few words about the blood supply to the pelvis. We see here the left and right gonadal artery the inferior mesenteric artery and the abdominal aorta. At about the level of the umbilicus the abdominal aorta divides into a left and right common iliac artery. It then divides again forming the external iliac artery and the hypogastric artery. The anatomists refer to this artery as the internal iliac artery, but pelvic surgeons call it the hypogastric artery, so we will call it that. In this view, you see the external iliac artery as it courses into the leg and then becomes the femoral artery. The veins take their name from the arteries, so you have the common iliac vein, the hypogastric vein, the external iliac vein, and the femoral vein.